25th of the third 2015 midweek teaching at Paradise Now Church. We're in the New Testament today and we're going to be reading out of the writings of Mark. Glory to the Lamb. Mark chapter 16. Very appropriate reading. I was talking to a couple of sisters in in a shopping centre yesterday, and one of them said to me, uh, "She said that um, you will drink poison and and walk on." And she had no idea I'll be preaching on this today. I, I just told her about the heart attack I had due to food poisoning. Yeah. At a Muslim kebab shop. And she said, uh, she quoted Mark 16. And... Uh, verse 18, They will take up serpents... And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And I told her about that food poisoning and she said, Yeah, uh, you're obviously a, a true believer. So, praise the Lord that um, we forever, there's really no excuse for people who've been born of the Spirit of God. No excuse for going backwards or sideways, compromising, because the Lord, if we're looking unto Him, we will have confirmation every day and we will have encouragement. The Spirit will make sure of that. If we're born of the Spirit and if we're willing to subject ourselves to the Spirit. We're going to start reading in Mark 16, verse 15. Jesus said, Go in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptised will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. These signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, speak with new tongues, take up serpents, and if they drink, Anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Verse 19, so then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of Father. And they went out and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them confirming the word through the accompanying signs hey signs in these times <laughs> accompanying signs confirming and we know that the lord confirmed that paul was his preacher the lord confirmed that the apostle paul was his man because of the uh, unusual things that that God done through him and confirmed the doctrine of Paul that it was the true doctrine of the Christ so our message today is titled the, the gospel is preached the gospel is preached in verse 15 go into all the world and Preach, preach, preach the gospel to every creature. I said this to a bloke yesterday uh, when he said to me, well, uh, the way that people behave today, homosexuality and all the carry-on, they say that, uh, you know, it's it must be okay because it, it, you know God created the animals to it, and even they, the animals, 
the males are with the males and the females are with the females and I said well you know there was a curse brought on the earth wasn't there and it went through the whole lot lock stock and barrel hey? there was a curse on the earth I said well at the same time you should be preaching to the, the animals too he said They're all creatures didn't he so the Lord confirmed that that you know if we go to the writings of Romans can we go to Romans 1 just for a minute and we'll just have a look at what that bloke said to me about they're trying to cop out by saying you know there's male animals with male animals and female animals with Romans 1 starting at verse 24 therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever amen you see that we're told to serve God I mean that means to follow in his footsteps and, and, and they give more respect to the animals don't they you see that today you got doggy heaven and you got doggy uh, hotels and motels where they have all this special steak for the dogs and little rides so they can sit in there with a bow in their hair or something you got everything going on haven't they well this is the foolishness it says in the same chapter of Romans that the uh, they profess to be wise they think this is great you know or oh, how inventive I am how creative I am and I'm making money out of it I mean how stupid professing to be wise became fools we can't be wise unless we fear the Lord unless we accept the Lord for who he is and what he says he is Lord God, King, Saviour, Judge and all that. Romans 1, 25, I just read. 26, for this reason, for this reason, God gave them up, gave them over to their vile passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful, and receiving on themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. That we will receive the penalty of, of our error. And even though it does say in that verse about leaving the natural, I mean... I believe that was the Garden of Eden, Eden natural, not the cur after the curse and after Adam and Eve's sin. Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, to even probably speak about. Because see the will there? They did not want to retain God in their mind. They didn't want to. They didn't want to uh, to allow God to be anywhere in their thoughts. They just wanted Him totally out of their minds, so they could go about and do what they wanted to do. So this is why the Lord said, "Go out and preach." And the gospel, the gospel is preached. People have come in uh, by stealers and all other ways, changing what the Lord said to do. Hey? We got uh, that big sissy, Francis, Francis of Assisi, 
who said, let me quote Francis, no more brains than uh, Pope Francis the talking mule. But everyone thought he was the best thing since fresh grapes. Preach the gospel at all times and when necessary use words. I mean, how stupid is that? But they think it's great. They think that's wise. Hey? Preach the gospel at all times if necessary use words. Hey? Well, how far away from the truth is that? Go into all the world and preach, preach the gospel. Lord Jesus, he also said to baptise in this, verse 16 of Mark 16, the believers, and if anyone would not believe this gospel that was preached, they would be condemned. They would be condemned. Hey? I've mentioned it a million times and I'll mention it a million times more that many have had the word in their hand many have had the word preached to them but they in their own self will didn't mix it with faith therefore it they didn't receive the heavenly blessing it was of no benefit to them and they turned around and said it don't work because they never mix it with faith they never done it they never done it he who believes and is baptized will be so we know believers to do but he who does not believe will be condemned the command that the Lord left before he went and, and sat on the right hand side of Father was to preach. We, we can't get around that any other way. Francis of Assisi was, is a Roman Catholic favourite. So there couldn't be too much weight in his words, could there? Let's have a look at Jeremiah. Jeremiah, uh, chapter 1, eh? Jeremiah. And see what the Lord told him to do. <coughs> Prophets were the, the men of God, you know, the men. The men of God. They came with the, with the message. The prophets went to the people. For God and the priest went to God for the people. Well, there's no more priests. We, we go to, to Father ourselves in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1. I'm going to start reading in, uh, say, verse 6. Then said Jeremiah, Lord God, I, I can't speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to him, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord verse 9 the final verse the Lord put forth his hand and touched him and he started dancing no and touched his mouth and said I can dance yes I can dance and he became Leo Sayer no he touched his mouth and the Lord said behold I have put my words in your mouth. You see that? I have this day set you over the nations, kingdoms to root out, pull down, destroy, throw down, build, plant. This is all with the mouth. 
This is all with the mouth. Go and preach. We, we can't see that with the churches today. We, we can't see the emphasis on preaching. Because we're in a world that is um, headstrong. We're in a headstrong world. We're in a world of arrogance and pride and unteachable attitudes. We're in a world today that um, doesn't want to go to hell, wants to go to heaven, but doesn't want to do what Jesus said. But the reality is the gospel is preached. The gospel is preached. The command was to go and preach. The very thing that is avoided today. Lest we offend. People don't want to hear it. We know the gospel, the preaching of the gospel is an offence. Because the true gospel, the preaching of the true gospel is about the cross. It is about Jesus. Now that alone takes the, the, the emphasis off you a and you're no longer the uh, hero of the dish, are you? You're no longer the theme. He is. And he becomes Lord and you become subservient. No, I don't. Don't preach to me, okay? I've had it for 28 years. Ping off, mate. Get out of here. We don't want to hear that. Don't preach to me. Well, I, I don't know how else faith is going to come. I just don't know. So, the churches, they'd rather uh, have a drama show, you know what I mean? YWAM are experts at it. They love it. You know, Especially in this pagan season where we're, we're about to enter into the Esther, the goddess of fertility and sexuality, where Easter came from, Ari Constantine. So, especially in this season that we're heading into, the paganism, they don't want to hear it. They, they mark it down as the greatest uh, uh, Christian festival of the year, say Santa Claus and and Chris's mess. Hey? They they write it up as the the wonderful um, uh, Christian festival, and you know what? I believe that is true. It is a wonderful festival of Christianity but there's no Christianity in my Bible it's just not there as I've said before the word Christian is there once and it's in brackets and the translation uh, version uh, error there so We seem to, uh, as it says in the scriptures here, Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach in all the world the gospel. Gospel. So, what is the gospel? Right? The gospel is preached, but what is the gospel? Number one, the gospel is a message. Number two, the gospel is uh, God's message. Number three, gospel in its strongest, deepest meaning is unquestionable truth. That's why a lot of the world even use it. They say, oh, is that gospel? You know, is that gospel? Is that true? Unquestionable. 
So we go forth with an unquestionable uh, truth that's forever questioned and forever debated even by Christendom. Well, I'm not of Christendom and I'm not of Christianity. I don't teach that. I don't believe that. I don't accept that. I don't want to be of that. I'm a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I proclaim the unquestionable truth. It's the message of God. That's what Yahweh touched the mouth of Jeremiah with. And every other true prophet. A message. Nothing material left by Jesus or his apostles on the earth. No material legacy whatsoever. But, which is another confounding of the minds of the Adamic world and churches. He left this, this, this message which encompasses all things that we need, that we, we need and that we, little do we know, will be so blessed, so heavenly happy, if we receive if we receive uh, the preaching of the gospel, if we receive it. Now, the very thing that is avoided in today's world is this preaching of this unquestionable truth. People know it at the end of the day, it, it's unquestionable. That's what makes people irate. That's what irritates them. Right? That's why they don't want to hear it. It, it irritates uh, the endemic soul's sin life and, and, and their own agenda. Religious people like to have a little bit of uh, the gospel handy. But the true disciples of Jesus, um, the word, the gospel dwells in them richly. It's their everything. It's not something. It's not most. It's everything to them. It, it, it's more, treasured more than their daily sustenance, than their best friend, than their... Uh, mother as Matthew 10 says we we must love the Lord well he is the gospel at the end of the day the word become flesh dwelt amongst us the gospel must be preached the message about Jesus the message about the cross right? the unquestionable truth God's message preached in an ungodly world doesn't mix. It, it's oil and water, isn't it? It's chalk and cheese. So it irritates the unquestionable truth, the gospel. It upsets people. It disturbs people. It insults people. The sayings, the oracles, the requests. At the end of the day, it's the commands that people burr up about. Commands. It come through Eve. The Lord commanded Adam and Eve, don't touch that tree. And they did, they broke that command and unleashed this rebel spirit in, in, into the earth. And the roses, that 
had no thorns suddenly had thorns. And the plush pastures suddenly had bindi eyes and burr thorns and thistles started to grow. And everything turned ugly. The devil rubbed his hands together. Hey? So, 1 Timothy 4.16 is very clear. It says that Paul said to Timothy, if we take heed to ourselves and the doctrine, let's read it, take heed 1 Timothy 4.16 Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. There's that, that gospel. There's that message of God again. And continue. And continue. It's not a one-off heeding. Continuing. 1 Timothy 4.16 for in so doing this, you will save yourself and those who hear you. Those who hear you. And we're looking at the hearing, aren't we? He who believes, those who hear the word and receive it. The only ones walk in it that will not be condemned. You don't, I believe you'll be pushing to hear the word condemned today in the churches if you push to hear the word hell hell fire if you push to hear people talk speak the truth about themselves they're always you know as the scriptures say men and women are quick to speak well of themselves we're not going to go anywhere like that if it's not true Hey? Mime and drama, you know, the, the way you eat or the way you walk, you know, your etiquette, the, the, the way you sit, they seem to be the best ways to tell of Jesus today and his ways. Breaking hell lightly to the people so like weaning them on to it you know little by little that's not the gospel that that's not the gospel that jesus said to go and preach he told he said to preach it preach and the wrath of god where where, where is that heard of it's all in the in in the message of god it's in the message of Jesus. It's in the message of Paul. It's in the message of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The gospel is a message. That's what the word gospel means. It's God's message to humanity. It's not man's message to man. That would be partial. It's otherworldly. It, 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 it's an ultimatum absolute so Romans 10 can we go there please Romans 10 it talks about the preaching not mime and, and drama and speaking nicely etiquette Romans 10 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not heard? How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him on whom they have not heard? Heard, heard. How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach unless they are sent? How beautiful are the feet. Of those who preach. Preachers preach. The gospel. Of peace. Of mind. 
That's what gives us peace of mind, doesn't it? Romans 5, 1 to 5. Peace with God. Otherwise, there's always that something in there, in our minds. There's something in our hearts. Just never can hit the spot. Just can't work it out. What it is. You know? I've been to paradise, but I've never been to me. Hey? Done all things, except all. People have done all things and all kinds of things, except all. Man's all and women's all is to fear God and keep his commands. That's the gospel in a nutshell. Right? All the way through from Genesis, repent and be forgiven. Repentance and forgiveness must be preached to every nation. Preached to every nation. So, men and women have devised and designed their own way, designed their, their own gospel and the way to do it, to convey the message of Jesus. But the Lord said, preach. But the churches today, and people today, they've demanded another way. Look, if it comes any other way, I, I doubt if there would be true conviction. I really do. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word. Hearing, hearing by the word of God. That's where how faith comes. You can't be saved without faith. Impossibility. So how much? So much for the old. I'm saved by grace. Once saved, always saved. Saved by grace. We just read one Timothy four sixteen. Take heed to yourself. Keep tabs on yourself. Examine yourself. See whether you're still in the fight, if you're in the fight. Continue. Take heed to the doctrine, the message of Jesus, the message of God, and continue in it. Then you'll be saved. Really? I didn't know I had to do that. Charlie Spurgeon didn't tell me that. He just said, God's going to get me there no matter what. Absolute predestination. Already handpicked. Totally crosses over the gospel and the scriptures. The Lord God Almighty does not want one to perish, but it will not be so. Many take the wide road. Many decide and make their own willful choice to take the wide road. Don't preach to me. I don't mind you, but don't preach to me. You arrogant pig. You ungodly thing. Pigs are in mud. That's where pigs live, in mud. In sin. Dogs eat vomit. That's just the manner of a dog. They don't care. They're a dog. They eat vomit. Oh, don't talk like that. What, do you want me to do what the rich man said to Abraham? Rack up a miracle and then send the miracle to my relatives, my lovely relatives and family who I love more than Jesus. And then they'll believe. Are you for real? Abraham said they got the preaching, mate. They got the word. Now, if you don't say a word, how are you going to... You're going to mime it or something. You're going to be Marcel Marcel. 
Oh, well, I, well, I'm winning them to the Lord by my good manners, you know. I win people to the Lord by my uh, lovely, my lovely self. And that's wonderful sausage sizzle. Hey? Right? They just love my sausages. They just keep coming back. You know what I mean? They know that love. No, they love the sausages. They don't love you. They don't even know you have love. Because God is love. And he ain't new. Because he ain't doing what he said. He said, go and preach. You go and tell the people. Oh, but I don't want to, you know. I want to be looking good. You know, I want to be looking cool. Like, swag. And it says in that gospel that the preaching of it is foolishness. Oh, I don't want people to think I'm a fool because I am. Hello, hell. Oh. And they won't like me anymore. All oh, right. Hmm. So it's all about you still. Not saved. Ah. Uh, you cannot be Lord and Jesus be Lord. <laughs> it can, it's impossibility. For I am Lord. I am Lord. I'm living once saved, always saved, and I am Lord. Oh. Is that the anointing there? Now it's more teen they're spraying up in the next room. Hey? The gospel. The gospel is preached. It doesn't say in this, in Mark, it doesn't say in Mark 16, 15 to 20 that everyone was going to receive. It just said, go and preach. But you've got all these people out there building churches and Jesus is building his. See, Jesus is the builder. And we're the Labradors and Golden Retrievers. You know, we're, we're the Labrans. And he said there are few, eh? Because everyone's building. There's no... Who wants to be a labourer at all? Who wants to be a labourer? Eh? You know, we're the Labradors that lead the blind into the house of the lawn. You, yeah? Did you get... Didn't go over your head? No. We're those golden retrievers trained by the great Redeemer. And we lead them in See? to the truth I like verse 20 in Mark 16 it says and they went out and pruned everywhere the Lord working with them confirming the word through the accompanying signs hey? they just went out he said it, they did it, it too easy hey? and they went out and preached everywhere the gospel is preached the gospel is preached I mean, the world is so unfair. The world preaches every day and people don't mind it. They're, they're preaching Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. They're preachers of the devil. They're preaching Voodoo Lounge and Led Zeppelin, you know. They're preaching a religious gospel. 
where you can buy a stairway to heaven, you know. And they're all preaching, you know, black leopard or whatever they are, it's body lion, slash, um, dot com or whatever. They're all preaching, aren't they? They're all feeding your inner man. And if it's not the truth, it's going to rot your bones. It's going to rot your mind. It, it's going to poison your faith. Jesus. It's going to grieve the Holy Ghost away. But when it comes to preaching the gospel, the message of Jesus, oh, everyone's in an uproar, even the churches. Oh, we don't want to hear that. You're judging everyone. Look, the gospel is judgment personified. That's what the gospel, judgment. When I came to Jesus, look, it was like I was standing at the most heavy duty judgment stand you could find in the universe. It was like there was a IT28 loader on my shoulders. <laughs> I thought I was at the gates of hell. <laughs> it was that bad. But the moment I repented, I carried that for, oh, it would have been 15 minutes. I mean, I should have been dead mentally. Because I had to, when I was convicted by the Spirit of God, I had to go from my place to the Aboriginals about 15 minutes, 10 minutes drive there and it was just so heavy I felt like I was being crushed it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God and the Lord sent his messenger to me and I listened but I never hearkened I, 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 I never moved and then the Lord said well I'm going to move sovereignly now and then I got up and moved real quick because I had to get this stuff off my shoulders it was like I was in a press you know and my ribs were starting to come through the top of my head in the spirit <laughs> there's nothing like a touch from the Lord it's so real to get a touch from the Lord is so real so the gospel is preached it's not done any other way according to the scriptures it's preached Faith comes by hearing. How are they going to hear without a preacher? But it's the very, it's very cunning of the devil, the god of this world. Very cunning that he shuts it. He wants to shut all the preaching down. See, he shut it down. You're not allowed to preach there. 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 And as we go along, it will become more um, obvious. That the true way to salvation is to hear the preaching of the gospel. That's what they had in the Bible. They had the preaching in the ear. Jesus even said to the churches, it was no different. Does anyone have an ear to hear the preaching? 
you're not hearing the preaching anymore in there. I've come to preach to you. Jesus came to the ladies of the church to preach to them. Anyone have an ear to hear? You've got too much drama going on in there. You want to forget about the Marcel Marseille stuff. You want to forget about all that fluffy, cuddly, satanic gospel. We know the devil, according to Paul Sheehan, the Spirit of God said to him in the last days, the emphasis will be on love. The devil's message is love. Superficial not agape love. Love humanity for humanity. A Bible love. Everyone was in one accord in unity. But Jesus was, was not in the equation. God was not in the equation. So he brought confusion on them all. Hence all the languages can someone say amen. And then he come back again and now speaks to us with the one language again. With the one message for all languages and all people, black, white, rich and poor, no matter what your culture, tradition or, every, or origin, upbringing, status, education, no matter what. One message for all people. Repent. Turn from your sin. Receive the preaching of the gospel. Receive the message. And for those who received him, he gave them the opportunity to become Sons of God. Hallelujah. Hey? Those who receive the full counsel, judgment, righteousness, loving kindness, and everyone said, faith comes by hearing. But the pagan relatives of the rich man who fared sumptuously, they were into in the seeing mode, weren't they? They were in the seeing, in the miracles. The gospel is preached to every nation. Very last words of Jesus, Luke 24, 47, before he went home in Luke 24, 47, repentance and forgiveness must be preached. Preached. To every nation, starting at Jerusalem. So the churches today, basically meeting places for those who lack social skills. <laughs> those who lack self-esteem. And they're, they're working against God by building the self Esteem, the steam that makes them feel better about themselves, even though they're wretched sinners. But they still feel better about themselves. I feel better now. Self esteem. When they need to be preached to, told that self has to go. And selfless has to come. And they need the steam of the Holy Ghost, not self-esteem. Holy Ghost power. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Accessed by faith, obedience. That's the gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey? That's the gospel. Church has become church, not Jesus. 
church has become very acceptable in these days. The numbers are rising. So much, you have mega churches. And egg churches, uh, Easter church, egg. Just don't preach. Just don't mention that name, Jesus. Just don't tell the people they have to give up their life. Well, all of it. Not a ten percent, I can tell you. You don't tithe your life. Give up your life. Lest the corn and wheat falls into the ground and dies. There's no characteristic fruits of Christ. Can't see Jesus there. You just see the Aladamic you. You know? It's just the old. Um, message of trying my best hey? neglecting and denying and despising uh, the truth about the cross what Jesus done the Roman Catholic system hasn't come out of it yet have they they're still carrying on with that lie it, which has brought multitudes uh, under the sway of the devil, under the the unstable mindset of the devil, to and fro. Nothing solid daily going. To church, but staying the same. Never told that Jesus came to take away the sin of the world. Never told that you can have that personal encounter and relationship with God Almighty ancient of days through Jesus the rock of ages hey? all starting with the gospel all starting with telling the people that Jesus died for our sins and was a propitiation for our sins an offering that we can start fresh, a whole new life on faith obedience, eh? When we're born from above and born again, we know that we are saved, we are being saved, and then we are saved to the uttermost. We, they, that tells us those three words, there has to be a continuance and a fulfilment of Romans 11.22. If we continue... And if we put our hand to the plough, <coughs> there's no more painful a plough than the Word of God. When the Word of God goes through our life like a plough, if we put our hand to the plough and the Word and we even just Look back 
we're not firm. You see what true repentance is? Not even a quick look back. Not fit. Not fit. You're like Mrs. Lot. Mrs. Lot had a lot. She didn't know how much she had in Lot, the righteous man, Lot. She just didn't want to leave. She just looked back over the husband's shoulder. Don't look back, and so she looks back. And if we look back, we got opportunity to go back, as Paul said to the Hebrews, haven't we? We're not quite finished with our sin. <coughs> We're not quite finished with the world. We just sort of have a quick look back. We're still interested. Can that one be saved? Look, I'm teaching and preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ here. This is not the gospel of Assembly of God or Australian Christian Church. It is not the gospel of Mormonism, Joseph Smith. This is not the gospel of the Roman Catholic Church, the whore church. This is not the gospel of Pentecostalism or Evangelicalism. This is not the gospel of Philo uh, uh, Christadelphianism or Benny Hinnism, or Joyce Meyerism, or A.W. Tozerism, or Chuck Swindleism. It's not the gospel of Char Charles Stanleyism, or Trinity Broadcasting Networkism, or Apollo Quibbleoyism. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus the Christ because everything I've said here is scripture everything I've pointed out is scripture everything I've pointed out is Jesus selfless Christ filled messianic absolute ultimatum full counsel whole counsel wholesome word Grain-fed Holy Ghost yielding. Wagyo word. Shikarasa u mar melendele sali umresende nirva. Oi. Saved in being. Saved. saved to the uttermost. Oh no, just say a prayer. Go under the water and Get yourself a Bible. Read it now and then, you know. Chill. Jesus paid it all. He's done it all, hasn't he? So, most church leaders and ministers who mark up the word they don't want to talk about such things as losing better still forfeiting the right to be called the son of god hi right. let's have a look at second peter 3 second peter chapter 3 Verse 17. 2 Peter 3.17 You therefore, beloved brethren, since you know these things beforehand, beware lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of lovely people. Led away. Brethren, 
led away by sinners. Fall from your steadfast position on the rock, walking in the word of the Lord, steadfast in the fight. You therefore beloved, they must have been born again. They must have been spirit filled, tongue talking, blood washed and sealed for the day of redemption. Beloved, Peter calls them his brothers and sisters. Since you know these things, what things? 2 Peter 3.14, let's do it again. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, what things? New heaven, new earth. We're not looking forward to digging in this earth. We're not looking forward to building on this earth. We're not looking forward to anything of this earth. We're not looking forward to enjoying ourselves in this atmosphere and in this heaven. <coughs> this atmosphere that surrounds the air of the earth. This present earth, we're not looking forward to that, we're looking forward to new atmosphere, new earth. The righteousness lives. Therefore, brethren, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him what? Be found by him what? Found. Not when you get up on the cloud. As the false prophets say, oh, when you get up on the cloud. The Pat Robinsons and the James Robinsons. Oh, when you get on the cloud, you'll be changed then. Be found. By him. In peace, not trembling and tormented. Oh no, he's here. Oh. No one knows the day he'll come. Found by him in peace, without a spot, without a sin. Without a blemish. Well and truly clear of that. And and it tells you about the long suffering of our Lord. People have gone way beyond account and account. Take into account. Read it. Read it. Look in your Bible. If you have a Bible there. Can everyone look in the Bible now? 2 Peter 3. Please. 15. Take account. Calculate. That the long suffering of our Lord is shown here. Equals salvation. It can't be any more long suffering than to offer you salvation. Outside of that, 
outside of the offer of salvation, we're condemned. If we do not receive the safe place, the safe place is with him, walking hand in hand. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord with them. Working with them. Mark 16, 20. Confirming the word through assorted signs. The gospel is preached. The gospel is preached. 2 Peter 3. Seven in. You therefore, beloved, since you know these things beforehand, be where least you fall. I like the way he says it. Least you also fall. Like the untaught and unstable in the previous verse. Verse 16. Untaught, unstable, twist the scriptures to their own gain and eventually to their own destruction. Once saved, always saved. It's twisted scripture. The false church, the one world church has twisted scripture and the world has twisted sister. The heavy metal group. If you listen to that, you are twisted. I can tell you now. You listen to heavy metal music, you are twisted in the head. If you are not twisted in the head, you will be. Sooner or later. Because it's from the pit of hell. What fellowship has Christ with devils? There is none, there is none, there is none. Heavy metal music and heavy rock and all that, that's all Adamic and self. It's all self. It's, a, it's an adrenaline rush to lift self. It's like booze, drugs, all self. No new creation, no, no, no new creation characteristics there at all. Just self, 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 self. You therefore, beloved, sent to you. You know all this. You know these things beforehand. Beware still. See, even though you know it, we have to be on guard. Have to guard our heart diligently. Can someone say amen? Beware. Least you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away. Led where? Away. From the truth. With the error. We know who error is, don't you? Satan. He's the author of error. The error of the sinner. The wicked. By this we know truth and error. Conflicting. Hey? Led away. The gospel is preached. The gospel is preached. And we need to accept that. So, I know the churches don't want to hear about forfeiting their salvation and such scriptures as 2 Peter 3.17 clogs the whole drain up, doesn't it? Not to mention the seven spirit filled the seven spirit filled sealed churches 
who weren't spirit led but were spirit filled and spoke with tongues most probably people in there not all maybe who Jesus told them to repent five out of seven had to repent save the Smyrna church church at Philadelphia because Romans 8 14 says very clearly these oh these are the sons of God who are led by the spirit of God these no more Romans 8 14 you read it it's very precise these so there's others isn't there <laughs> There's others that think they're sons of God. But Paul makes it clear. These are the sons of God. I love Paul's language. I love Paul. I want to hug Paul. When we all get to heaven. No. When the remnant get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing it will be when I hug Paul and we will shout the victory. I love the way he talks. We forever hear of lukewarm church leaders talk about how much the public are watching on. All the public are watching on to see how you perform and look to see if we are really Christian or not. Well, I'm sure they're aware I'm not Christian. I'm a disciple of Jesus. And what would the public know anyway? What would the public know about righteousness? <laughs> it's a joke. So what's that birthed? It just birthed the big showcase. 215. It's all just a show, isn't it? You see these Roman Catholic priests, you know, walking along there. Not to speak to anyone as they walk. Everyone's sort of stepping aside, and you, you hear those gentle whoo as the gown blows past, you know, and they as they flick that scapula over the shoulder on a windy day at the race course, as they pick up their Guinness to have a drink and light that cigar that Corona <laughs> everyone's in awe they are how in the world could a sinner judge a saint hey it reminds me of that article I've done on channel 9 you know, they're always, oh, Channel 7 and all of them, they're, they're, they're always there judging someone, aren't they? Current affair, this guy. We're not going to, we've heard that you're doing this and that. So, hey, I, I, I sent him an email once, I said, you're in no position to judge anyone. You need to repent first, then you can judge. Hello, hell. The blind leading the blind, isn't it? It's the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> hey? A child of the devil judging a child of God. A carnal man judging a spiritual man. Impossibility. You never get it right. The spiritual man knows all things. Can discern all things. 
up to the light he has. But the carnal man, he has no idea what he's talking about. Hey? Let's just go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 for a minute. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 14, the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Verse 15, but he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord? that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of the Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. Ah. Oh. Preaching of the word. Power of the preaching of the word. Power of the printed word. It sets the captive free. Luke 4, 18. Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor. Heal the brokenhearted. Set the captive free. Set those at liberty who are oppressed by the devil. Hey? Preach the appropriate year of the Lord, which is now, now, now. Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach, not to mime, not to have dra drama shows and Easter pageants, Easter festivals, our regulations 4, 8 to 10, festivals and showings in the flesh, days, months, seasons, years, hey, Always anxious they are. When the Lord says be anxious for nothing, can someone say amen? We are those who carry about the dying of Christ in our body daily. Once a year, going down the street with a cross with a wheel on it. So... As many as received him, the true gospel of the Christ, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man or woman, but of God. God's plan and will that not one perish, but that all be saved, received the preaching of the word, received the unadulterated word of God. That's God's plan. Receive him that he may in turn enable us to become sons of the Most High God. <laughs> I love it. Hey, love it. I wouldn't trade it for a billion dollars a day. I wouldn't trade my life for the most luxurious life in the world. And all the praises thereby of Adamic men and women and Christian men and women. I would not change a thing. Because I'm complete in him. The head of all principalities and powers. And our dear sister Bridget received that revelation only recently. She was convicted of her position and repented. Not so much with the fancy prayer, but in action. Turned away. From her sin in the world. And it cost her to do that. But now she rejoices. Because now she knows of the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
She knows of that power manifested in her life. Now that power worketh in her mightily. And now, even though as a child she used to come to this church, eight year old I think, around eight year old, and it used to go in one ear and out the other according to her. And when she went out the door, she left it, what was said inside the door of the church. But little did Sister Bridget know. God was behind the scenes. And that, was, that word was stockpiled in her subconscious. Glory. Awaiting to be ignited by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Many years later. <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bringing glory to Jesus. Confirming the Lord's word which says those children who've been brought up in the way of the Lord will never leave it. Hallelujah. Glory. Bringing glory to the Lord. So even though that young lady's walk was like that, but look at today, because now's the time of salvation. She's preparing for the coming of Messiah for the second time. Glory. Glory. The gospel is preached. Eh? The gospel is preached and that storehouse of, of word that has been instilled in the corridors of her heart can now be just unraveled by the Holy Ghost. It's just stored there, ready to come forward. Hey? Isn't that awesome? The gospel is preached. Hallelujah. And if we receive the preaching of the word... The heavenly blessings will come upon us. And the greatest blessing of all, not salvation of the soul, but to know him, God Almighty. To know him and to walk with him will come upon us and move through us. And in him we'll move and live and have our being. And everybody said... And amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. <coughs>